Hello guys, and welcome to a new series. Uh, this game it just came out today. There we go. <laughs> agreement, accept, sure. I don't care. Right, this. You guys can't see shit. That's very, that's really good for you guys. Ghosts of New Eden, I think it's called. Brad. <laughs> Just. Oh my god, what the fuck? Ah, we're gonna do it normal. Weird. Let's get, let's get it in. I'm so hyped. Let's get it in. Let's get it in. <laughs> Focus Entertainment presents. Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Don't not game the clouds. Great long fluffy bastards. Low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. America! <laughs> Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Master Duarte? Let's get this going. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Atea, we need to go. Night be. <laughs> <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say. And death to the dead. It is not so simple. Oh. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many and tangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt 
or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. So he, what, what's going to happen? No. New Eden, June seventh, sixteen ninety-five. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd want to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. Ew! Oh, the big ass drop there on her face. You'd yeah, better be at the tavern with a hot grog or two. Or two. Oh, is this the game? Oh, baby, this is it. Oh, snap. I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. Ah, no. Not such place. But it's not a bad idea. Look at that. Right? Game looking nice, looking pretty. Wait, what? Oh, that's weird. Oh, dodge. He's got a whole sword. What's this? I think we can get through here. Sure. Right. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Hey, come on, let's go, hurry up! Looks steady enough. <laughs> I'm trying, I'm, I've been trying to get in there, my guy, come on. Oh, shit. I thought I had to move it. My fault. Watch out! <laughs> no, it wasn't sturdy. <laughs> Ugh. Is it just me or are we not welcome here? Keep going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over eager apprentices. Oh, this way? Oh, shit, can I? I can break my way through here. Oh. <laughs> Man, the fucking. I gotta. Uh. There's a photo mode, you saw that? Uh, kind of like gamepad, what the fuck? Not video. Oh. Mount sensitivity is crazy. Yeah, it's a little bit better. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I hear stuff. Oh, okay. You want to go? All right. <laughs> uh, uh, well, uh, yeah, too slow. It's coming out of the ground! 
You got on the fucking wall. Oh shit. Wait, wait. Oh. Oh, I can target with my middle mouth. Yeah, we Thanks good, bro. We good. Wonder, uh, you? Same, but I managed. These specters watching the road. Maybe, but are they keeping people outside oh, of town, or are they keeping them in? I don't know. We need to find out. Wee! Oh, I slid. That was cool. What do you do? Who is that? Who is that? What, just random leather around? That's kind of weird. <laughs> scared the shit out of me. <laughs> You're doing good, dog. Behind you. Oh, man. Yeah, it's easy as falling off a box. Are right, you doing good? Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. What's over here? Uh, oh, oh, oh. oh shit. Uh, attack the weapon fills her bandage gauge. Right, okay. Well, you try. Bandage! Yes, sir. Read. Perhaps these uh, words will be lost in time, but I must write them. The date I cannot say. I know it's the month of June in the year 1965. I thought we would be safer in Providence. I thought we would be finally see children again. The golden wheat fields would ring with their laughter. Their mother now lies dead and shall join her soon. Something in this it is washed the road. Terrible spirits took us. New Eden is cursed. It is now. I'll tell you to run. Oh. These people left New Eden Town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? I don't know, but this for the stuff. <laughs> huh? oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Where's my dude at? Oh shit. Oh homie. Oh. 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 Ow, you dick. Bad at you! Case. The situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. I mean, we, we already fought like seven ghosts already, dude. How is this not bad? Empty docks in a growing settlement. That's not a good sign. That's At true. Time, selectmen sit on their asses. Isn't that what selectmen do? I already know this. I was already running. Yeah, we fucking full on uh -huh. Boston, uh, Boston, Fort Jericho. Oh, so Boston's that way. I don't know where you gotta go. We gotta go this way. Ah, oh, fuck it. Go to Eden Town. Oh, hell, New Eden discovered. 
You're welcome, Committee. Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. Hi. Do you a lecture on the site to do marriage? <laughs> Esther wouldn't dare. And we don't need a piece of paper to keep us together. <laughs> I remember you telling us. Imagine being this creep outside someone's house this whole time. Hey. 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 Area investigation. You have reached location of current objective. Your compass now indicates. Okay. Look for the end. Wow, uh, looks like it's this way. This must be the end. Oh, I found it. I saw that. We need to get the ladder. Oh, it says in. All right, let's go. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Pour us a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is cold, your serving woman may sit while we talk. Oh! I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McRaith. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume... Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day, my love. Pennington, captain of the train line. This here is Thickskin Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? The motherfucker dead? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You look do what you want. I intend living. Oh, why is she so eager to leave so fast, dog? I don't know. Christine select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her. Rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners. Or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you and your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave, or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. And now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. 
In the indeed, cemetery. it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? Catcher physician that saved him. Uh, what do you think happened? What do you think happened? I could guess to little use. It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists. And neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. Okay, um... You studied demonology. I was weird that he brought that up. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that. Like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see. To a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land. And those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem. Which is why you're here. We agreed it. Uh, uh. I shall stand for the company, I said. As the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock. As Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Perhaps we, uh, we come for advice. Heroic work all around. Heroic work all around. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same. Because we must. Aye. Because we must. Why is the town so empty? Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die. We are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Where'd they go? Yeah, where did they go? Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. Mm. That's about the actual curse, dog. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now, and I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What caused it? What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden. 
bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honour. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. For Charles. For Charles. Thank you. I don't know. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. It's an inn. We can't stay in the inn? Now, what you got in here? I right, see what this is. In order to notice, as announcement, uh, as the late townhouse meeting. How am I? How am I meeting? God damn it. I hear they closed the King's Arms Tavern, leaving the key to this select maid. There shall be no ale sold nor drunk until their curses is lifted and return. Oh shit. Store rooms are locked. Oh, well. Now I don't know why you can't sleep in a room because they're all locked. Okay. Move, dude, what the? Move, right? Oh, bastard. I literally can't walk past there. That's so funny. Alright, well, let's get out of here. No shit, Damn the comfort directory. Those are cursed sea stones. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. Oh, there he is. These people have no idea what they're up against. So, you've been listening to Fairfax's prattling. That man turns a pretty phrase and does so to the exclusion of all else. Tell me, Captain, what does your rank signify? Militia? I maintain the train band. I also anticipate threat. Natives, brigands, the French and other monsters. The curse, though, that's a whole different kettle of shite. Not even poor Davenport saw that one coming. Any thoughts on the origins of the curse? None useful. I'm a military man. I'm no dark artist. I'll take that as a gentle jab. You don't believe in my work. I can tell you're a woman of talent and capability. I respect that. The rest of it, that's your remit, not mine. Me, I'm the old guard. You and your Scots Green are on your the hope. You'd best prevail. Oh, okay. We'll be back. I'll be here, unless I'm not. Okay. We should go to cool. Esther. I think the governor said that house stood above the docks. This way. Yeah, but who's this? I must talk to everyone. Oh, this is the lady, right? Oh no, it's a different thing. Six skin, right? We're sorry to disturb you. Oh, this is her. I'll right. you to disturb me. What do you want? Uh, do you intend to leave? Honestly, what's your role here? What's your role here, if you don't mind me asking? Lately, I do what needs doing when no one else will, weakened as they are by comfort and the curse. In normal times, I hunt. Now, though, it's cold enough to freeze the nankies off an horse, and the game rots as quick as you can get it home. You can't eat a ghost, can't skin it, can't sell it, so what'll be the use? I mean, you're not wrong there. You intend to leave? I take it you intend to leave town. Bloody right I do. New Eden is dying and anyone who stays is dead or deranged. Uh, you're leaving alone. There's no hope at all. Are you leaving alone? Ah, fuck. Are you leaving alone? That's what I can't want now. Will you go alone? I'll take my sister and anyone else who wishes. 
You may come too if you wish. You look like you can handle yourself. There's no hope at all, dude? There's no hope for New Eden then. Not till the weather changes and it don't look like changing. What do you know about the curse? So, the curse. What do you think is going on? I think nothing much about it. I think folk sickened and the crops failed. I think folk went mad. And I know we found the Reverend dead. Hmm. About our uh, governor. What of the governor? Anything I should know? That useless clack wagger. <laughs> With Davenport dead, godly folk look to be led. Fairfax Askell couldn't be happier. I pity he'll get them all killed. What of the captain? Now there's a man of worth. Without Saul Pennington, there'd be no town left at all. These last months have been hard on him. I hope his metal holds. If I had my way, he'd be coming with us. I don't give a rat's knacks for loyalty. But the captain does. Mm, okay, so the captain sounds a little bit more trustworthy, but also y'all could have killed them. Killed my Ardu Charles. Well then, thank you for your help. Aye. You must think of the investigation side. Why did why did do that sound? Am I fighting someone? What the fuck's happening? Oh, what's this? Okay. Who the fuck is this lady? Hey. Hey. Hey! It looks so awkward. He's just there. He's like, hey, I'm here. I barely slept for fear you would not come. I can see that shit. You look crazy tired. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... These dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truth. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions. But I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. That's tough. So how were things before? Yeah, when you first started here, yeah. Things, you know, before all this. Before the curse. It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now. But I can't imagine it's the same. Ah, uh, that's true. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. Uh, the captain too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? 
I find thick-skinned Newsmith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter, by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Mm. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armour, he said, that time and God have not yet healed. Damn. Oh, like, really nicely said. <laughs> Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Yeah, we're gonna like find Charles. Charles' papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. If you said she's he's here, bro, like do some something crazy we'll stuff, take a look you know. Around, if that's all right. May I be of any help? No. Mm -hmm. Stay put. You'll find it. The joyful, the once joyful and educated, good friend of Anna Red, are now a young widow who has lost her anchor in Drizzy's unknown of the Sea of Mourning. Oh. Try, we don't know how that motherfucker looks like. Ah. Ah. Evolution. What the fuck does that mean? What's the hint? After seeing her husband go scream, yeah, see this what we know, yeah. Back. New Scott Tune G. Okay, that was not useful. Purcell, could you find nothing better? These days, I lack the heart to play. Can't believe you brought your piano forte to New England. It cost a fortune. You must use hints on it. But you cannot hint. part a pianist from their beloved keys. Oh. Okay, okay. Fuck, there's a lot of reading. 12th day of August in 1694. My sweet Esther, I was down and yet you were there to support me. You are an angel from heaven to help me in my dark mission. You are the light that guides me through the darkness of the invisibility. In invisibility? Invisible. <laughs> and yet I feel so sorry for bringing you to this tortured land. You know well things uh, are not as they should be in New Eden. And I'm sorry to have you by my side, for I fear for you, uh, for your life. I wish we could have found a quiet corner on this land there to raise our children, but I fear a curse. I think we should leave, or perhaps you should go ahead while I defend our home. Think about it, for I cannot bear the thought of darkness taking you away from me. Damn. How pleasant to see these old familiar things from your house in London. That porcelain saw many a dinner turned lecture with Charles. I miss him so. So do we, Esther. We get it, he died. Fuck. Fuck, there's so much reading. <laughs> uh, fifth day of January, 1685. My beloved Esther, how long to hold you in my arms? The announcement of our marriage was to my heart as delicacy on my... What the fuck? Palette? Uh, a sweet, uh, sweet of which cannot tear. At last, we should be together and together forever and ever until the day many years from now on when our old and the last death separates us. For only death can extinguish the love between us, and I'm sure that not even death can undo the tenderness I feel for you. I want everything to be perfect for our marriage, and I will make it so. I will write to you every day until the blessed moment when I finally shred the weight of leather and I could. Tell you in person every day how I feel about you. Where are you hey. staying, my dears? The governor had a room prepared for us in the schoolhouse. The schoolhouse? Wouldn't you rather stay here? You'd be more comfortable. I don't know. Very kind, but a long day ahead of us. Yeah. Don't bother you. I don't have much, but promise me you'll come for dinner tomorrow. For old time's sake? Of course. Maybe. She's reading all these letters, huh? 20 dead, 21st day of February, my sweet Esther. Yeah, just fucking my love letters. All right, get it. Fuck. He was a fucking romantic. All right, God. 
this. Sadness in the interval, a study of our man's scale. Okay. Study of a transversal college of G minor stream. Huh. Okay. And over here. Ooh, what's this? Fucked another letter. Esther, some food and ale for you. Sorry for your loss. Your neighbor holds you in their hearts. Oh, that's nice. Wait, did I can fucking leave? This is Charles's. It's like he never left. Oh. Have you received other visitors? Most dare not leave their homes. Although Mr. Bachelor came to see me. That was nice of him. Oh, that door's locked. There's more to learn here. Ah, okay. Oh, what the fuck? Why did they stay like, why did they stay like this? Fuck, another one. Uh, my dearest Charles, how delighted I, I was to read your word. It was always... Oh, so this is a response of her, what she's saying. To hear from you, love, uh, I cannot. I have contacted our brothers in London, but unfortunately we cannot find any other tribes that match the description. The events for New Eden, be yeah, it may, pursuing the never-ending writer phenomenon. Okay. Damn, so they couldn't know shit either in, in London. I didn't know Elnor and Charles were still in touch. The St. Paul Brotherhood is a tie that binds. Charles was so eager to continue his research here in New Eden. If only we had known what would befall us. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. Oh, this is awesome. As much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. Remember what? when he started to wear these to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Oh, precious king from a chest set protected by a class. That's weird. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind him of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Ooh, maybe that. Fuck, it's the map of the world. Wow, look at this old school fucking map. Cool shit, dude. What the fuck? America. <laughs> Back. Uh, with a book, Charles' personal collection. Okay. Uh, yeah, another book. None on this side of the water, and few on the other on the other know that I came to New Eden as a minister in order to pursue research into the new world on behalf of the Brotherhood of Saint Paul's Stool. Uh, and the strangeness have I found there? There are ghosts here, yes, old and innumerable, but they are quiet. I shall never say the world out loud, but I expect there are be witches. If I find one, I shall much like to ask her story. Oh, shit. The foot on Chaton. That was German, and I gave it a French accent. That's kind of funny. Job 7, 13, 15. 13, when I say my bed sh uh, shall comfort me, and my couch shall ease my complaint. 14, then shall scarest me with dreams, the terrifiest me through vision. 15, is uh, so that my soul chooses strangling the death rather than my life. She comes to me in dreams. Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Hmm.
What do all these dreams have in common? Are they the promises of doomsday or a nightmare coming? Visions foreshadowing is something behind this. Someone behind this. Who is this real target? What causes the anchor to burst forth? I need to know how to get into our heads. Deep no longer offers. Cannot. Oh, shit. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settler's dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? We got on about Charles. Was worried. Yep, okay. Gotta investigate his bedroom now. This, damn, it's a, it's a big room for a small bed. God, there's so much reading in this fucking game so far. We got the souls, nightmares, so here's the research. Where nightmares come from has nothing to do with the Mariah female horrors in the French country or German or mirror when that's 20 cents in the middle. That's the word. Uh, there's a poem, thundering stuff. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. Fuck. A silver brooch and heavenly worn by Charles Davenport and created with a special three hilt sword. See, Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. So. Remember how they used to argue about books we hadn't read? Like we weren't there? Oh, you actually listen. I would always let my mind wander. <laughs> Lo, children are in heaven to the Lord, and the fruit of the womb isn't renewed. The sound, okay. Three drops of lavender oil and the charming infused were sleep. Turn to rub twice, palms being the heat three times. Hey, doctors, no, guys, you gotta do it. You better do it. <laughs> My dearest sister, Charles is dead. I cannot tell right from less. I cannot tell what day it is or how long my Charles departed. My world has become undone. Nothing happened as it was supposed to. I could not attend the burial, the shame of it. How have I failed my dear husband? I just could not find the strength to leave the house and walk into the place where Charles died. There, uh, there to see him buried. Lord have mercy on us, guide our friends to us before it is too late. New Eden will not last much longer without my beloved husband to protect it. I do not have any words left in me, but I thought that I thought that you who loved him so could know of his passing. My love, Esther. Oh shit. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. That's exactly why. Yeah, that could have made him manifest. Yeah. No. She can't, because she couldn't see him, so he just wanted to say goodbye. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Ah, oh, talk to this bitch, we know. You can investigate her. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Oh, you deadass did not go? How are you bearing up? With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Ah, you did good. Did I fail Charles? Ah, you had nothing to do. What the fuck? This is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. Uh, do you have bad dreams? Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams, that it had a use for us, that we needed to fight it with all God's might. But 
Now Charles is gone, and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him, none respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. Oh, okay. We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. Oh, that door is bad. Let's go! What will you do for my Charles? What the fuck? What's your papa on nowhere? We just told you. If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. Will you be all right? I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles we shall. Ah oh, shit, I'm is up. Ask around. See what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Oh. Be careful. Aye. You too. Oi. Go to the cemetery. Let's go. Ah oh, shit. Ew. The fuck? Why is it that button? Oh, there's a shop. Is that shit behind us? Is over here? Oh, are you the shop? I must take a moment by myself. Oh, okay. Fuck you. Excuse me. Oh, well, fuck you, dude. You're a bitch. Am I walking on the wall? Oh, shit, who are you? Get out of my way. Damn! What? What the assholes? What is this? Warning, docks are closed, sabotage by fire. Okay. Yeah, but just have to get though. This fire can't have started on its own. Not in this cold. Hell no. No fire pops out when it's this cold out. What the fuck? Hey yo. Be warned. I need but cry out, and help shall come in an instant. Uh -huh. Calm you, sir. Antea Duarte, Minister Davenport's banisher. Oh, oh, of course. I'm so sorry. Poor Reverend Davenport. His death has shaken us all. Welcome ah, to New Eden. Our first I'm afraid you find us <laughs> at our worst. We're banishers. There's nowhere else we'd rather be. And you are? I, madam, am Squire Sincere Paris, traveling merchant, stuck in this cursed place and eager to be somewhere else. Oh, so you the fuck indeed. Ah, you have bad dreams, my guy? The nightmares. Do you get them too? Of course I do. Not everyone will admit it, but we all have bad dreams. Of what do you dream? I dream someone watches me sleep. I sometimes fancy she's present when I'm awake. She never speaks, nor moves. She seems to wish me no harm. She just stands there, watching me, waiting. Taking my measure. It's even fucking weirder. Does she manifest at a particular hour? If she does, I have no way of knowing it. Unable as we are in this interminable grey to tell day from night. Well, there you are. Information on the curse, as per your request. Uh, I won't even charge you for it. Oh, fuck it, yeah. Care to trade? Most of my goods are already packed. But I never refuse a deal. Did I, see, did I see a fucking ghost walk in the back? I don't know what I need. Do I even need stuff? 
Uh -huh. Alright, bye. I bid you good day, Squire Paris, and thank you for your time. A pleasure, Mistress Duarte. Do be careful. Yeah, there is a ghost right there. What the fuck? Like, y'all just chilling with that ghost right there? That cemetery. Yeah, like, y'all don't see this? A wisp. So close to town. Cemetery closed, back up, man. Fuck that, we going in. Where are you leading me? Eh. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, so good. Oh, I can block? Uh, 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 oh. oh my god! Oh, I'm gonna think about it. Harry bitch! I got it! No one is safe here. Most of these people died fighting. Someone didn't want them here. Ooh. That wish was a fucking trap with a dick. Something else, something else. Okay, ducky. Oh, yeah. Ooh, up or down, up or down. I'm going to put this. Okay. Oh, I wanna jump over there. You know this? Uh -huh. A banisher you can feel present I just mark fight goes when close with thirty. Trigger a light of an orange aura. I've seen more graves here than I've met settlers. Many dead in more recent years. I go down that way? Things are gone, they go back. So this should pass out this way. What's this? What is it? Nah, I went away. There's something here. <laughs> How high is that? Be able to reveal it. Oh shit! Oh fuck! Torch candles. How do I get candles? If I mix the stones I found earlier with seashell candle, that might do it. Oh, I do that. Oh, I need to find candles. Oh, okay. What the hell is a book here? Weird. 
Yeah, I'm back. Oh, is that, like, is there something I can do? Can I combine some shit together or what? Seashore candle near the water. I mean, it makes sense if it's called Seashore fucking shit. Oh shit, here's Charles! Why didn't you wait for us, old friend? Oh shit, I didn't even see him. I swear I'll make it up to you. Oh, shit, what the hell is this? Banishers can perform rituals the nature of the site determines which ritual she performs. Performing a ritual consumes resources, even selected, uh, incorrect ritual. If you have the memories, you need to perform a hearkening ritual. Okay. In each stain hides a story. Oh shit. In the name of the Lord, Charles. I command you. Be gone from this place. You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself. Well, since you ask so politely. Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared. Be gone. You have no shell. What no ties. What's happening? You ain't fought. No purpose. No. But neither do you. Oh, yo. Yo, she dark Vader his ass. Damn. Yo. Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? I don't know. Charles Bible found half burned in the mud of the cemetery. It's open to Job 7, 13 to 15. Oh shit, yeah, it's the same thing he was writing. The tie that bind Oh, I got both now. It's his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. Yeah, they're gonna make a man of uh Oh I gotta go back to his grave shit. Manifest, right? I hope it's now the right one. It's a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far. Red and I, not to see you one last time. 
Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. I should do a perfect circle. That's like the, the craziest thing about it. Oh. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. Oh, he coming. I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Oh, Charles. I'm tired. Here. At last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste. Oh shit. Oh, we got time still though. Uh, do you know how this curse began? Now, why not wait for our help, motherfucker? <laughs> why did you not wait for our help? The threat was rising. Despair growing. There were so many dead and dead. So much sickened flesh. So many afflicted souls. There was no more time. Do you know how this curse began? What prompted it, I do not know. Nor do I know when. Many months ago, certainly. But I do yeah. know this. This nightmare chose New Eden for a reason. So, a ghost. This one is different. Implacable. Very clever. Many magnitudes more ferocious than a spectre. And just as relentless. Damn. Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. And here, 